pop and then bringing them into this lab. So what you have to do is back save the file. So there is a way where you can save it to a earlier version of Illustrator or Photoshop or InDesign. So all of the softwares have a back save feature and usually that allows you to open the file. However, sometimes it does influence your layers. It might put everything in one layer. It just depends on how far back you back save. But I, I don't normally hear too many complaints, but I'll show the back save feature today. Or if I don't, remind me. Okay, just be like, Marco, you said you're gonna do the back save. Okay. You know? it's okay, so let me get myself started. Okay, I think I'm ready to go. All right, so uh, here's our lesson seven. You'll notice that we have a number of resources. You have a homework assignment where you are going to illustrate an eraser as best as you can, as best as you can. It's like the pencil exercise, but you're gonna illustrate an eraser. And I will do a demonstration so everybody has a model to follow. And you'll also notice that I've given you some font faces. So these font faces I, uh, were uh, downloaded from Defont, which is the shareware font resource. And they look similar to the fonts that are on the eraser. So we have a homework seven. And then we also have a picture of a heart. This is what the picture of a heart looks like. We are going to practice using the pen tool and plotting out anchors to draw this heart. So you might want to download this. And then uh, let's go over our first agenda for today. So that is the first half of our conversation. So it's agenda seven. All right, so we went over creating strokes last time. I believe there's a feature that I, I didn't cover very well, which were profiles. So we're gonna do a little review on strokes and profiles, and we'll change colors on those so you can see how that works. The heart graphic that I'm giving you is associated with this portion of our conversation called open paths versus closed paths. Remember we talked about open versus closed paths last time? And so we're gonna start drawing some paths using different tools and depending on what we do or use, it's gonna create open or closed paths. Um, we are going to use that heart to illustrate a heart uh, using the pen tool. And then we have a bunch of creation tools that we haven't discussed. So I'm gonna to try to catch up on that. And then we have modification tools to talk about today. So uh, if you would do, do me a favor and download that heart graphic, that would be awesome and then we can place that as a template to draw over it. So let me, here's the heart image. Here's the heart image. And I'm just gonna click on it right here where it says download heart outline. Okay, and that's gonna save it for me in my downloads folder. So if I look over here in the bottom right and I look for my downloads folder, there's my download folder. So if I click on that, I can see the PNG or if I click on this arrow, it will open it up like a window. And there's my heart image. I'm gonna create a folder for myself and I'm gonna call it heart illustration. And I'm going to drag and drop that heart image into the folder. So this is following some of the best practices that I've been trying to share with you throughout the quarter. Remember I'm making a project folder and I'm placing my image in there and I'm also going to save my Illustrator file in that same folder. So I'm gonna to continue to practice these, um, these uh, methods to try to keep everything organized as best as possible. Everybody have that heart image ready to go? You guys ready? A little bit more time. Let me, um, you guys need help, raise your hand. I have two lab assistants, don't forget. Two lab assistants.
What's up, Thomas? If there's an open station, it's all yours. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Okay, Cindy, did you help? Did, did you did you get help? Yeah. Okay. For those of you, for those of you that are waiting, uh, create an Illustrator file and place that person in the chair. Okay, so I'm gonna start an Illustrator file and I'm just gonna to go to File New and I'm gonna to stick to the dimensions that I've been working with. So I am going to create a letter document, eight and a half by 11. I'm gonna keep it in inches with one artboard and I'm going to go ahead and hit Create. And so what I have here is a uh, Pretty straightforward document. This is what we've been seeing all quarter long. Um, I'm going to reset my workspace. So remember, this is what we normally do when we begin. I'm going to go to Window, Workspace, Reset Essentials Classic. And then I'm going to set my toolbar into two columns so you can see that. And I'm also going to tear away my Layers panel. OK, so. I want to place that heart image as a template. Remember we were learning how to create template layers last time in class. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place that image into my document. So I'm gonna to go to the file menu and I'm gonna look for place, there it is. And then I'm gonna find my folder. I think I called it my heart illustration, there it is. I'm gonna select the PNG and place it in the document. So there it is. And I might scale it up a little bit so that way you can see it a little bit better. All right. And now I'm going to convert this into a template. So this is review. We did this last time in class. So I'm going to do one of two things. One of two things. I, I'm going to look in my hamburger within the layers panel, the little hamburger icon. And you'll notice that when I go here, about five options from the top, it says options for layer one. So that will launch the option window for me. Or I can double click twice to the right of the name and that will also open up the options for me. So what I wanna do is set this up as a template and uncheck dim images. And I'm gonna change the name. What did I suggest that you change the name to? Blueprint or, it was another term that I used. Reference image, okay, so I'm gonna call it reference image. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. But remember, check it out, dim images is not checked. I turned that off. It's not checked, it's off, okay? So go ahead and hit OK. So this is what the template layer icon looks like. It looks like a little box. And that toggles visibility for that layer on and off. And the layer is also locked. OK? Uh -huh. You want it unchecked. Yes. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. And so to create a new layer, we've done this before in class. I'm going to click on this page turning icon. That makes a new layer for me. And I'm going to call this layer my outline layer. I'm going to call it my outline layer. Now the reason I call it my outline layer is that it's the layer that I'm going to use to trace around this object. I'm going to trace around this object. And when I trace it for the first time, did I tell you, did I mention in, to the class what color I use when I trace? 
red or blue. So when would I use blue? When would I use blue? When the object is red. Normally I trace in red, but if the object is red, I'm going to use blue for contrast. So this one's not red. I'm going to use a red stroke when I trace around it. Okay. So this is my icon for my swatches. I'm going to activate the swatch panel. I'm going to tear this away and I'm going to open it. You can see all my swatches. So this is the color that I'm going to use to trace around it. Now, um, what color is my fill? What color is my stroke? Black. So is this the correct setup if I want to outline with red? No. How should it be set up? Perfect. So see-through or transparent fill. So it's a none. This is the icon for none. And for the stroke or the outline, I want red there. So that's set up correctly. Okay, so with all that being said, I want to turn off the projector for a second. And I want to talk about or I want to prepare you for our um, engagement with the pen tool. Okay, so I want, to, I want to talk about some features on the board before we start talking about it in Illustrator.